Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to a Let's Play of Farming Simulator 15. The Gold Edition just came out today. This is a game that I've enjoyed for a couple of years now. First got the, tw the Farming Simulator 2013 and put hundreds of hours into that. I don't know how many fields I plowed. I own most of them by the end. Got the 15, the graphics were improved, and they added, uh, as you can see in the picture there, added the ability to farm trees. And the equipment to cut trees down and regrow them and and this additions added I believe it's four more tractors and three or four more harvesters and all the attachments and put another map choice in the uh, roster for you a map from uh, uh, Eastern Europe so let's start a brand new game we'll use save game 20 easy more starting capital more money in the bank normal is your standard and hard gives you less money and probably already have a pretty sizable loan taken out against you so we'll start with the normal Saznavka so that's our new map I'm I've always played Westbridge Hills I, I played with Bjornholm in Scandinavia and it's full of lots of little tiny farms whereas the Westbridge Hills is more American with large acreages and a, and a full-blown town in there. So I'm guessing Saznavka is going to be similar to Bjornholm, but uh, it'll be interesting to see the difference. Let's go ahead and get this started. And go ahead and pause here if you want to read some more about uh, Saznavka. And it's ready. Let's see what we find. Alright, if you're not familiar with the game, go to the Bjornholm map, and there's a built-in tutorial there. That's what that was telling us. F1 toggles our menu, our help menu on the side. So I'll toggle that off for the moment until I get in, into some equipment that has too many options to remember. It's been a while since I've played Farming Simulator. I used to play it a lot. Really enjoyed it. Very relaxing game. You just sit back and run the tractor and bale the hay and whatever you want to do is you don't have to worry about zombies coming to kill you you don't have to constantly be fleeing for your life or exploring dark caves with creepers ready to blow up at you you can just enjoy it so we've got here this is our seed area and we are given several pieces of equipment to start off with here's a fairly modern looking tractor with a weight and I believe that's a cedar. Looks like one. Got over here a slightly older tractor and a trailer. And the uh, till in behind. The WASD moves you around. The mouse spins your view. Shift gives you a sprint. Old cars. So or, that looks like a European car. In fact, this whole area here, look at all the rust on the tanks and the old petrol dispenser there. Old rusted uh, buildings, broken glass, kind of like we're still back in World War II. So interesting take on the uh, on the map here. What have we got here? So this is where we're going to store our equipment. No, this is where we're going to store our goods. Alright, here's potatoes and sugar beets. Okay. So we haul in our potatoes, look like russet potatoes there. So sugar beets are going to be over here. Yep. So they'll load into this. Hey, they're almost three dimensional now. They're like two dimensional sugar beets, like pieces of paper, you know, flat, but they're raised to be more three dimensional. That is new. It was it was always just kind of flat on the conveyor belt, like it was just a you know a picture of it. So this one would be wood chips, which is new to to Simulator 15 because they brought the trees in. So wood chip storage. Okay. Otherwise, I'm seeing right through the trees there a harvester. So, 9 is the default for bringing up your map. Where that green circle flashing off to the right side there. 
19 and 14, those fields are green because we own them. And we're looking right now at 19, which will be one of our first projects to harvest it. And 14 must be right over here, which gives us something to put some seed into. But let's jump in a tractor. I'm thinking this one over here would be good. And C puts you in the cab. You can look around and they build these things pretty realistic. Anything you would see in this model of tractor is going to be in here. C gives us a better perspective. And here we'll hit F1 and bring our menu back up. Q is to attach. So we'll grab, I assume it's going to We'll roll forward a little bit, make sure that's what we're going to attach. There we go. So V will lift it and lower it. You can see how it pulls the tractor down on its shocks when you lift it up. I like the realism of this game. I think what we'll do this episode is just kind of take a tour of the of the town here and see what, what all is on this map. So, if we head off to our left a little bit, we'll hit a main road. It's going to head up toward the village grain elevator and the sawmill. Actually, sawmill... Looks like we've got to hit that upper road to get to those. That's a river in between. So we'll, we'll take a loop through the place and, and take, check out the whole map this episode. And then maybe next episode we'll get in actually using the equipment. Um, one thing to show you here while I'm thinking of it, if you hit the tab it will drop you into the seat of each of your of your tractors. So there's our harvester. There's that other tractor. Just the three? Huh. Pretty sparse pickings here. There is a place... Let's see... Was it insert? No. How do you get to the store? I've forgotten. Yeah, it'll probably come back to me as I'm trying to use it. But let's go ahead and drive up the map. Let's see, F1, get going. WASD for walking and for driving. And ARS reverses your direction and acts as a brake. We've got a job board over here. Let's go look at this one. You do actually have to obey the laws here and not hit other cars. E gets you out of your vehicle. So this one, it's, let's see, if I hit F1, it'll tell us that R is how you interact with it. So R tells us that there is a job, the West Lawn. A local resident can't be bothered to meet their grass cutting commitments and asks you to mow their lawn for them. So, in the normal mode, these numbers are quite high. I mean, they're very unrealistic, but it gives you a way to create some quick capital to get back to farming again. So the, the game could just dump a, a million dollars on you, or you could take on a lot of projects and start gathering it up otherwise. In reality, it's, I don't know, a $100 job at the most. But anyway, it's... It's not too realistic in that sense, in the money sense, but it's it's still fun to do. We're not going to accept it, but this is where jobs will show up for you to, to tackle when you're really hard up on some cash. Usually I will park a, um, a tractor I'm, I'm not going to use anymore, a cheap old broken down one right there on that exclamation point. Then I can tab right into the seat of that tractor and pull up the job board rather than having to run over to it and read it each time. Old brick buildings. What is this one? Where I could see. Just some kind of a water tower or silo. Old electric transformers. Boy, this is look this is looking uh, actually kind of realistic as far as the old technology. This one, I believe if you've got extra hay that you want to dump off. You can pour it in here and it'll pay you for it. The telephone, I'm pretty sure, is what it uses as its tutorial or help menu. Click that and go through the, through the uh, subjects and it'll tell you how the game works and 
give you a heads up. What's down here? We are... Oh, it's a dirt road. I bet you it takes you into a forested area where you can do some cutting. Look at the old bridge. Oh, wow. River cut away the bank embankment here. <laughs> that doesn't look too safe to me. <laughs> An old, what is that tower over there with the, the guy wires holding it up? Huh. Well, let's turn around and get onto our main road. We'll, we'll risk this bridge one more time. Now, the farms that you don't own, you'll actually have to buy. And there will be announcements that come up to give you a chance to, uh, to win them in an auction. To bid for them. Or you can just walk up and buy them when you've got the cash. Let's head up, I believe this is to the north. Places to store your equipment. This looks interesting. Whoa, let's not get stuck here. There. I'm thinking that this is a place to repair your equipment. Go underneath and change the oil. We don't actually do that in the game, but it's kind of nice that they give you a, a representation of that. So this tractor is a little bit narrow for that space. Okay, got out of there. We'll store more equipment over here. Back in the trailers or maybe the harvester parks there. We're not using it. Drop into cab mode here. Your rear view mirrors actually work. Let's see, no cars coming. Now, I don't have a wheel hooked up to the computer right now, so I'm actually driving with the WASD. That's why it looks funny that the, the steering wheel is swinging extreme each time I move. Eventually I'll hook up the steering wheel so I can just gradually turn the wheel as I, you know, as you normally would drive but there are so many controls on this keyboard it's kind of hard to choose which ones you want attached to the wheel and, and which ones you want to reach over and run off the keyboard. Just looking at the landscape, it really did a good job with this map. A lot here. Look at the, the way the smoke, the exhaust comes out and, and interacts with the uh, with what's behind it and it blurs everything. Let's see if I can run the map while I'm driving. Kind of. So where are we? Oh we've gone south. Okay. We're gonna take this route backwards. So this is let's pull into here and see what we've got. Now that I've run this backwards, I'll probably spend the rest of my time on this map going the wrong way on this. What have we got here? I don't know. There's nothing like this in the West Bridge on the map. Biomass heating plant. Huh. So I'm guessing that we will bring stuff over to burn. Ah, okay, so we'll toss in logs. We will toss in logs and it burns it. Okay, let's head over. I wonder if it'll let us do this from inside the tractor, or do I have to get out? Ah, biomass heating plant. Heating to the nearby village. Once you start cutting trees and generate wood chips, you can sell them here. Okay, you drop your wood chips down there. And they use that to generate electricity. If I recall, it seems like a lot of the towns over there actually have hot water or hot steam pipes underground. They actually heat the houses from a central plant. 
Seems like I've heard that before. It's not something we do here in America. And I was really shocked when I heard that. But uh, in Russia and, and uh, places over there, they actually do that. So I'll grab my map here. We are down there. So that's the main road heading through. We've got a mill if we cut across right where that word plant is. Let's see. So that is off that direction. Okay, traffic is good. I don't even know what side of the road I'm supposed to drive on. I guess it's this side. Alright, so... Got something down there. What have we got here? Ah, I see a train yard out there. Let's run down there. So we drop off grain here. Exclamation point. What does R do? Yeah? Ah, we just sent the train on. Come back! I didn't mean to do that! <laughs> huh. So I guess that's how we sell some of our goods. So we we'll bring our trailers full of grain over, sell it, and then release the train to to mount up to the track and or jump back to the track. Can I get up here? I can. Good. Gravity doesn't work too well in this game. You can do Superman tactics here. Yeah, so there's one way to sell off the grains that you that you pull out of your fields. This over here does what? Whoops. down below okay so I could come down here to actually unload the grain all right let's get back on our tour now one thing about these European maps so many small fields everything is really spread out so you, you feel like you're constantly driving everywhere to accomplish anything. Let's see. I am going... I want to go to my left. I see that's the train line down below this road. We're going to head to the green elevator. So eventually you'll need to memorize where all these places are. There'll be... Well, when we get there, I'll pull up the... Uh, what they call it. Like a... I want to say now, today's vernacular, an iPad, but a, uh, a tablet that lets you interact with the game. I believe all of the trees on the map will be uh, something you could cut down if you choose to. I'll keep wanting to shift to the next gear. Alright, this is the way that the map keeps you from going off the edge of the world, apparently. So, this is our direction? I thought I was going to hit something by now. The freight yard, okay, yep, yeah, we're in the right, going the right way. So that's the end of the map there. If I can do that while I'm driving. I think it was. I? There it is. So, okay, we're calling it an overview. What goes sideways? How? Do, oh, there it is. Okay. So, storage prices. Storage prices. Oh, what's in my storage? I think that's what it is. Okay. This is the quantity that I own right now. I think if we started in the hard... Uh, difficulty would probably be zero. And if we started an easy, I don't know, maybe 20, 30,000 of each, an awful lot. Um, what the bakery is paying for these four items today. The biogas plant is paying this for silage. The biomass heating plant that we just saw is paying this much per ton for wood chips. So all of those places that we're finding are going to be listed here. So the freight yard is buying sugar beets and 
potatoes and every once in a while they will announce a sale in the sense that the mill is desperately needing barley they're they're short so they're willing to pay oh 600 a ton instead just notice the dollar sign is after the number it's more of the European way of, of looking at money so storage versus prices other things that we have the ability to interact with in the game vehicle selection so all of our vehicles our tractors and all the accessories which we don't own a whole lot of right now and where they are so you can click on it and go there if you're stuck over here and and don't want to make the trip back kind of a fast travel here's the map you can look at your fields and see that field 19 is ready to harvest there's three stages of harvest after you pass that third color it goes to withered and rots then you gotta throw it away till it under let's see you can look at the growth you can look at the type of plantings that you've got is that barley it might be meaning I'm trying to decide if these colors are exactly the same or if that just represents something else these are unowned fields so I guess when you buy them they already come planted that's not something I remember from any of the other maps or the yeah, fruit types so that's all of our choices here okay so next our sheep chickens and cows how many we owe uh, how much feed there is how much wool is ready to be harvested how many eggs you have picked up already or are waiting to be picked up so that's how you interact with your animals and statistics in general how long we've played how many miles we've driven how many acres we've worked with a lot of good information here hopefully while we're playing I'll remember which button it is to go to the store but uh, we'll probably just drive over to the store this time interact with the map with the uh, interface there hopefully this tractor isn't so loud that you can't hear my voice let me turn my own volume down Fraps records the game and the microphone separately but combines them but if I have my speakers up too loud it combines them plus some bonus noises that uh, might not work out too well the, the end product okay what have we got here says we're coming up to I don't know it's not uh, labeled oh I'm thinking this is a sheep farm wool pallet yeah so you'll have sheep in here when you buy your sheep and as the game produces wool from them it'll build up here so it'd be wise to park a flatbed trailer out here and a like a forklift a pallet will show up on that pad right there and um, you'll be able to pick it up and load it onto your trailer and bring it into town uh, we saw the that one job that was a grass or a lawn mowing job other jobs in the game will be using the forklift bringing goods or supplies from one place to another so you'll find those pads kind of scattered around town for a forklift to pick up things so we've got what looks kind of like a gas station let's see this does yeah it's a fueling station and apparently we're coming in the wrong direction oops wrong button there we go i don't believe there's any way for us to interact with any of these vehicles no there isn't in the other maps so i just wanted to make sure they didn't kind of sneak that into the game and give us a little bonus here all right, let's get back out. And we're going out the wrong direction, of course. So where are we going from here? I'm seeing silos over there. Yeah, there's a grain elevator. And looking at it right now brings me brings back flashbacks of of Half Life, Half Life Two. Whoa! Seems like there's scenes in Half Life with buildings like that good memories. We're definitely going to pull up Half-Life again and do a let's play of that one. 
So we will. This building will will also buy our grains. Let's see here. Let's get back to I. So actually, back to the map. This is the grain elevator. So back this way. There we are. The grain elevator. Already forgetting how to interact with it. How did we scroll that? I don't remember now. Oh, WASD. Now. Huh. I'm drawing a blank. Well, we'll get back to that later. Turn the map off so you'll be able to interact with the grain elevator and sell your grain. We'll drive up in here and dump the trailer. That's strange. I don't remember which button to, to hit. What was that? Just an outbuilding. You can store your equipment under there for your fields over in this area when you buy fields over here. So let's continue. Um, trading company, transport company up there, biogas. Let's head across the field here. Grab this road over here. This is where we want to be. So if you want to buy a field, you head over to these symbols in the middle of them. There'll be one in each field. And I assume we hit the R. R didn't work. Uh, this one I think I have to actually walk up to. So now the R works. We can buy this field for $66,600. You cannot afford this field. <laughs> okay. So, we've got a mini map over there in the bottom left corner. I think there's a way to zoom that mini map in and out. I don't recall ever doing that. It'd be nice to use that map more extensively. So, we're coming up on. What is this? Another electric type of a plant. It's not the same one, is it? No. It's a dam, isn't it? Actually, I am not sure. But I think I want to just walk out there and find out. You can explore almost everything on this map. It does let you walk up the stairways. I can get down there. I can probably get down there. Don't know if I can get back. This sure looks like a like a dam. Like a dam that's no longer being used. Or a flood control system. Hmm. Don't know. I guess it's just eye candy. You can get in here. Huh. Okay. Alright, back to our tractor. Which, if you recall, if you hit the tab button, you can cheat and get to it that way. So, we'll continue on our trip here. Oops. Now, they are smart enough to interact with you. If you block it, they won't ram into you. They'll hit their brakes. So it just depends on how real you want to play the game. How much of a realistic role play. You want to act as if you're actually there, or if you want to just be a tyrant. What do we have here? Is a place to sell your goods. Let's see, it doesn't say on the mini-map, so we hit this one. And we are... That looks like a ball of yarn. I'm thinking this has to do with where you sell your wool? I'm not sure. We'll continue up the pathway here. Just noticing that bridge right there. What is that? Oh, 
Okay, you'll dump your clippings here. This will eventually mound over and become like a, a mulch or a you know, probably probably what you what you sell at the biogas um, facility. We'll continue up this path here. Yeah, we hit up the biogas plant. So there you will take uh, old clippings. You can cut the grass, bring all the grass cl uh, grass clippings in, and and mulch it into a. Uh, you know, I guess it'd be like a fertilizer or like a, a compost. You can use that to dump off here at the biogas plant, which will convert it into fertilizer. And it's a way of, of creating an income. They'll buy it from you even though you get to take the fertilizer for free afterward, which I always thought was kind of strange. It's like you're running your own private company. The whole place is yours, but you pay yourself. Each of these will be like that little depression we, we saw back there with the grass clippings in it. You just dump your loads in here and it'll eventually cover over, bring your tractor in with a front loader, and scoop up the product and dump it into here and get paid each time. And then these tanks will process it. Somewhere over here you can pull in and, and load up uh, fertilizer. There's another pallet there, so there'll be some kind of a job that uh, will ask you to haul something from there to somewhere else. figure out where you get the fertilizer at. Wouldn't be that. Maybe this right here? I'm not sure. Guess we'll find out as we get into the map. Everything is different here from what I'm used to. Here's a scale. And it's accurate too. It actually works. So this tractor weighs 2,947 pounds. So as you bring in your loads, it'll weigh it. The game is able to keep track of all that. And as you pull out, you'll see how much you dumped off. So simulating how they would have paid you for whatever you brought in is the idea. So this is, this is the direction where we're going. And let's see if I can drive while reading a map texting and driving here. Vegetable warehouse is coming up on the right and then some kind of a town ahead of us where we can sell our chicken eggs and there's a dollar bill. I'm thinking that's a bank. Tachopka. Tachopka? It's the town. Tachopka. Boy, I'm, I'm, I'm mutilating the Russian language here. So this is, I said vegetable, where am I, vegetable warehouse, um, maybe where you sell your corn, or is that their way of saying grains, I'm not sure, why it's a skinny entrance, you ever played European truck, European trucker too, is that what it's called, driving those semi trucks in these really tight little European uh, roadways in between the buildings. It's quite a challenge. The American map, everything is wide open. You just come crashing in wherever you want to. And here we start getting uh, real people walking around. You can't interact with them. And they are really kind of zombie-ish in that they just keep walking around, going around the block. They never really do anything, but it does add a little touch of realism to the game. It's kind of fun. So, let's see. There's a place to sell the chicken eggs over here. Let's head off in this direction. Yeah, right there. So we can bring the chicken eggs over here and, and they will uh, be removed from you. What is this? Like a old house. Or a government building, maybe. Um... See, we want to head back the other direction. And I believe we want to go straight.
But you can head over here. Let's do that real quick. Of course, we'll block traffic, but it'll be fine. And interact with this. Let's see. R? Yeah. So our finances. So this lets us see that we owe $5,000. No. Okay, we can borrow or repay 5000 there at the bottom. We have a $100,000 loan out to get what we've got already. I see. So we're basically starting from scratch. We bought our tractors, bought those fields, or maybe we've inherited our grandfather's farm, and this is, this is his old equipment, and he still owed $100,000, and we're taking over the, the farm. We've got to bring it solvent again and, and start making a profit. Whatever role play scenario you want to set up for this. So, balance. So, $142 a day is our running vehicle costs. And we owe... So basically, here's your spreadsheet. Hit the. See how do we interact with this? Can we roll forward? We can't. So we'll hit the. Oh, we can. Okay, we had five thousand. We just repaid five thousand, or we can borrow it again. Don't know what our limit is. Okay, so two hundred thousand loan is our limit. Okay. So we'll take it down where we started, just to show you how that works. Jump back in, E gets you in your vehicle. So looks like a schoolyard over there. I'm curious, can you actually interact with these like you can in uh, Half-Life? No, you can't. So these don't function. Get on the uh, the merry-go-round and half-life and spin yourself around. Okay, back to work. Yeah, excuse me. Sorry, I, I'll move it. Here we go. So we want to eventually. Oh, we'll go straight. We'll veer off to the left first, then we'll come back hit the, sh the store and then back to our farm. we we'll call that an episode. So we we'll hit the Y, we'll head up first to the left, then we'll come back. We are going the right direction, right? Yeah. I saw this again. thought it was the same one, but it's an additional one. And I see a covered area over there. Let's see what that is. Chicken coop. Ah, here's where we will have our chickens. I see they've already given us a rooster. So you'll... There's probably a gate somewhere where you can jump over the fence and interact with the chickens. He looks quite real, doesn't he? I'm impressed. And you'll find eggs on the ground after you buy some hens. And just run around as you pass over them. They'll, they'll pick up on their own. And... I what that building would have been old corrugated tin roof rusting away. Interesting. So, your chicken coop. As soon as you buy some chickens, you get delivered directly to the spot chickens lay eggs where you can sell at the marked spots on the map. Okay, so we'll continue. We were heading off to the left over there. Clear that way. Another fueling station there. A few of those on the map because you do run out of gas. You can see at the bottom right of the screen this tractor's got 79 liters left. That's our store down below, so we'll head there after this little detour. see the bakery. Okay. So on our way back, I think we'll go cross country and hit that way to the store. 
down below there, there's some kind of an interaction. Looks like logging. I'm thinking you drop your logs into the river there. Ah, uh -huh. so there's a place to sell your logs. You float it down the river, or process one way or another. So this is another place to sell grains. I said bakery, right? Yeah, bakery. So it looks like we'll sell eggs and at least eggs. Let's see what it says over here. Yeah, so we sell certain grains over here. That's right, the bakery. Let's see, we'll hit I to get back over here. And I wish I remember, I, at the beginning of the video, I was toggling through this. Now none of my buttons seem to do anything. But there's a way to scroll this side to side. It's not these. It's no... <laughs> oh, little, uh, sometimes I can hide my own Easter eggs. Bakery will be one of your choices, and it will let you know how much it will pay for each of these. So we'll pop out of this. And this, the map showed a symbol of a chicken over here, so somewhere in this area we can also sell our chicken eggs. But let's... Yeah, I think that was the last thing on the map in this area. There is something else to see over here. We'll just pop over and look at it, but it's not something we can interact with. Now, on the other map, if you accidentally hit a sign, it would break. This one, they, they don't do that. There's where you sell the chickens. So this one you can drive through the signs. Interesting. In the Westbridge map, every time you bump a sign, it'd fall over, and the next day it would, it would pop up again, like uh, the county crew came out to, to fix it. So I suppose this is not a game to play or a let's play to watch if you get seasick easy. As I do tend to swing my map around an awful lot. I want to see something, I just go right over to it. It would be different if I were to gradually pan over and gradually pan back. But I'm just not in the habit of doing that without thinking. I just flip it over there. So we've got a river over here. Let's go see what this is. I'm pretty sure this has to do with logs over that symbol and buy this field. That looks almost like lumber. It's a sawmill. Okay. Slow down. Don't fall in. Mill pond. I want to sell wood. You can simply drop into the mill pond. Straight and long pieces get you more money than short and bent ones. Interesting. So you drop off your logs, I assume you back a trailer in, drop it into here, this equipment should all come to life and you'll see everything running and grabbing the logs and... No, I take that back. That pulls the logs out of the mill pond. So I wonder if there's a button to push somewhere in here to interact with this, like that train. So where do we actually dump them? I guess we come over to this edge and dump them off. Not sure. We were on our way up and around. Let's head up over here and get over to the store, which I believe is right in front of me now. We'll see all the different equipment that you can buy as we sell off our crops and convert that into money. The top right of the screen, you can see we've got $5,800 available at this moment. Of course, there's another 100000 available in loans, though you do pay interest on that loan each day. Over the curb here. Okay. So, the other map would have lots of equipment stored in this building, so maybe that shows up over time. Vehicle shop. One-stop destination for acquiring new vehicles, tools, and animals, and for selling your old machinery. 
So newly bought equipment always appears on the space next to the building, except for animals which appear directly where they belong. So you head in here, I assume we hit the R. We get to choose from all the equipment that's available. So tractors, uh, select category. There we go. And all of the different tractors. This is usually what you start off with in these games. This is the low end. Let's see if there's anything familiar, if they've changed a lot of this stuff. Getting up into here is what I'm used to using, the New Holland. Had quite a few of those. And then there was this guy right here that, uh, that was a pretty good tractor. Get into more of a tank track. Different tractors have different uses, different weights that they can handle. And then I'm thinking these are the ones we just added for this game. Um, I know we added some harvesters too. There's the back. Harvesters. As well as attachments. Yep. So trailers, tippers, and sewings, and mowers, lots of different stuff. Even semi-trucks and trailers. Garage. And shop. Okay. So back. Now if you want to sell equipment, you can sell from your keyboard for a certain price, or you can head over to here, drop your equipment in this space, and they'll give you a, a, a like a premium price, give you some extra money for it if you go to the trouble to bring it over here. Up there where you see the, the, t the clock of 9.57, the 7 and 8 button speed up time. So we can really get time moving if you want, if, you, if you're impatient and don't want to wait for everything to harvest. Or you can take it down to 1 and we'll actually run real time. So one minute of game time is one minute of, of uh, real time. So really it depends on the realism of the game these crops are going to grow in the equivalent of two or three game days instead of two or three months. So you could easily sow several fields in a single day if you keep it at one for one. Or you can set up a little bit faster and simulate a day running by a lot quicker. So we want to grab this road and head to the left and head back to our farm. How fast we go compared to this car. Yeah, we'll do some illegal passing here. See the way that the exhaust interacts with the white line in the road? I like that about this game. They throw in those, those little touches. It's interesting artwork. And here's our farm. Anything here we didn't interact with yet. You saw that you drop off the hay there, you drop off your grain here. I assume these go away when you drive through them. Yeah. So this is your personal silo, this is your storage. And then you'll come. Let's see, this is the fertilizer. I know we triggered that. So it didn't. Uh, So it came back again to remind us. But you'll pull under this and be able to, if you have a trailer under there, be able to hit the R, I believe, and tell it which grain you want. And it will dump it into your trailer. So anyway, I think this is good for this episode. Kind of gives you a sense of what the map looks like. Later, we'll take an episode and... and uh, head through a game I'm actually playing in the Westbridge Hills map and show you the difference in the uh, in the two quite extreme differences but for now this was this was fun good tour of the, of the new map and we'll jump back into this game and maybe harvest that field and do a planting next time and just kind of explore how farming simulator works 
So this has been Noble Rambler, and I thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.